Hi guys. So for today's reading, we are going to be looking into who is jealous of you, why, and what behaviors they may be showing. So we have three piles here today. One, two, three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile that you feel most drawn to. And if you guys enjoy this reading, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a timestamp, or donate to the channel. Check out my other sites. You can find all the links in the description box below. All of that stuff really helps me out. And I truly appreciate each and every one of you who's here to support me on my path as I'm here to support you on yours. Thank you for that. And let's get started with pile one. Pick it up. So I don't know if Saj is an actual name, but when I was doing this pile, Saj popped into my mind. And also... The fact that you have been able to open and heal your heart. So, the fact that you've been able to tear down the boundaries and walls that you have built up around yourself brick by brick is something that somebody is jealous of around you. Because they may have a really hard time dropping their guard or allowing anyone in. They may not have very many intimate connections, if any at all. And they may be watching you going from the position that they are in right now to a position of actually having some more intimate connections in your life. Being able to trust people again and being able to open up and let people in again. So we have Capricorn, Virgo, Virgo. You know what? I usually know what this one is, but the last couple days I've been questioning if it's Capricorn or Aries. Damn it. <laughs> and usually I know what it is. I've had these charms for months. I don't like doing the Zodiac through the tarot because anybody could be in any of those feelings or energies at any time. And this way we can pinpoint a Zodiac sign without using the messages and getting those two things confused or mixed up. <clears throat> so we have Virgo, Virgo, and Aries or Capricorn. I'm, I'm, I don't know why. My brain is blanking on that. There's the other one that has the horns that go up and back. And I think that one's Aries. And I think this one's Capricorn. But I'm, I gotta look it up later because it's driving me crazy. Anyway, who's jealous of you and why? Somebody who overthinks a lot. Some of your speeches may have actually caused this person to overthink in some sort of way as well. I also feel like you bring a lot of inspiration with the words that you say. And this could cause this person quite a bit of jealousy too. This could be somebody who could be a workaholic or an addict of some sort. Somebody that is trying to escape. They're codependent in some sort of way. And they're trying to escape the feelings of loneliness and the void that they have created for their life. By pouring themselves into something, whether that be a partnership that is very emotionally unattached, or whether that be work, or drugs, or alcohol, or food, or whatever it is that they're pouring themselves into to try to numb the pain, that is the behaviors that they have. And those aren't caused by you, those are behaviors that they have because they have blocked off their heart chakra and because they are avoiding doing the healing work necessary to be able to free themselves and they're jealous of the fact that you have done that and they're unsure of how to go about doing it themselves. Some of these people may actually even want to ask you how to do this. RH, RH negative blood, O, V, and you know, my, my younger sister actually has RH negative blood and she's a Virgo as well. So this could also be a younger sibling of yours show s so row j rose and you know my younger sister's name is middle name is rose j l f flowers flow n o now k a I loved the fact that my mom named my little sister Sonia Rose so much because uh, her middle name was a flower and she's as beautiful as a flower. I followed suit and named both of my children with a middle name that is a flower. Kate and Lily and Beja Daisy. A, that could have some reason for why I said it. S, W, B, 
S U T sunk sat sink this person may have sunk to a very low point and this person may be jealous of the fact that you have not or you didn't law flaw this person could feel very flawed in who they are or what they are but about about this person um, could even be sick in some sort of way and is jealous because you are not <clears throat> skate late sate satiate Jake Josh John smoke woke lake take fake bake wake wake and bake flow ant flow ant is here too ant flow something to do with periods possibly and actually it could be an older sibling as well because my older sister is a Capricorn too so really this could definitely be a sibling for a lot of you in this pile I'm feeling like snow phone four of wands ace of cups queen of wands because of the fact that you have a lot of love for yourself because of the fact that even though they're jealous of you you inspire them to do better to be better to go after what it is that they want you may have even inspired them to go after what it is that they want and they feel like you kind of destroyed their life because of it even though they made that choice themselves um, they could be jealous of your ability to celebrate life, the strong foundation that you have inside of yourself, dealing with your passions. This person could definitely be having some sort of addiction problem or codependency problem, and they're seeing that you do not, even though you have a lot of passion, you have chosen to love yourself and you have chosen to use that passion to go after what it is that you want and instead of going after what it is that this person wants they are drowning that passion in whatever it is that they are being codependent with inspire them more through your actions your inspiration is going to lead this person to healing eventually though you're a very strong, down-to-earth, grounded, solid person. Even though you have this massive passion inside of you, this desire, this fire, this energy, this motivation, it's very guided in a specific direction. You have a lot of focus. You're very grounded and down-to-earth. You're very stubborn and headstrong, and you know what you want, and you're going after it regardless of what anybody else thinks about you. You don't care about the opinions of others. You love yourself too much to be able to be focused on the opinion of others. <clears throat> also... There could actually even be a relationship that they are jealous of in your life or a marriage that they're jealous of in your life. Maybe the fact that you have found somebody who mirrors your soul in some sort of way. They're jealous of your um, grace, your poise, your dignity, your ability to remain unruffled no matter what happens. And really, I don't think that they see what goes on behind the scenes because I can almost guarantee with everything that you've gone through, you have been ruffled. But you have chosen to never give up. You have chosen not to throw your life away because of it. And you have also chosen to love yourself regardless of what everybody else thinks that you should be ashamed of. And this person's having a very hard time doing that themselves in their own life. Protection guardian, drop your shields. So once again... <clears throat> Your ability to drop your shields, your ability to connect to people and still remain protected in your energy, the ability that you have as well to protect yourself. This person may have tried to get to you at some point or may have tried to do something 
to cause problems in your life or to cause you pain or to cause you shame or guilt or to cause you to feel like you weren't good enough in some sort of way or they could have, you know, this person could have ghosted, breadcrumbed, um, acted like you were not an important part of their life in some sort of way even though they love you. This person could have some very bad abandonment issues <clears throat> and you guys could handle them in different ways. I'm feeling like the people who chose this pile, the majority of you, handle them in ways where you have told people what you thought about their behavior and then left. And this person may handle it in ways where they never express what they're actually feeling, but they repress it and they ghost out or something along those lines. It could be the opposite way, but either way, you have been healing, growing, and overcoming the issues that you have because you guys grew up in the same household. You have a lot of the same issues. They just may be played out in different ways. And since you guys might have been in different positions in that household, different weights could have been placed on your shoulders for different things. My younger sister was the only one that my mom ever actually cared about her school at all, at all or helped her with anything to do with her school at all. And she really pushed her hard because she really wanted her to become a nurse or a doctor because she was the only one that really mentioned any of the bigger ideas that she had about her life to my mom. I thought about vet when I was little and kindergarten teacher and then it switched to therapist and I will say that she kind of pushed that one a little bit as well later in life but when we were kids the only one that she ever really cared about or thought was ever going to be anything was my younger sister that's a lot of pressure to put on somebody and so this person could have felt like they were under a severe amount of pressure while you got to live free and granted I don't think you were as free as they think you were because of the I feel like there may have been a lot of neglect for you in place of that. And you may have learned how to be grateful for the freedom while at the same time that neglect did cause some problems. So you have learned how to love yourself regardless of whether or not other people have shown you love or care. The fact that people have not shown you that love or care is actually probably a lot of the reason why you've been able to go as far as you have because you've had to fight every step of the way and you didn't have the support behind you. So that is what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys had to say about it, whether or not it resonates, what you might be going through, and I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, <clears throat> leave a donation or a timestamp. All of those things are so greatly appreciated. Great ways to give back energetically for the energetic healing sessions that I bring to you guys. And I truly appreciate each and every one of you who supports me in whatever way you do on my path as I'm here to support you on yours. Thank you so much for that. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile two. I really am so very happy that my daughter showed me how to pause my videos during my readings because then I can make sure that my phone's cool enough while I'm doing my readings and it doesn't end up shutting off in the middle of them. And also, if I need to go grab my drink that I forgot across the house, instead of taking my phone with me, I can just run over there and grab it. Plus, instead of fighting with the pile to get it onto this towel just now, I was able to pause that for a second, put the pile on the towel, and then start. So... This could be somebody that taught you something or you may have taught them something. And also the first thing I was thinking of with this pile is healer. You could definitely be a healer and somebody could be jealous of your healing capabilities. <clears throat> this person may be somebody who self-sabotages a lot as well. Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Intuitive, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. That's what we're going with. <laughs> uh, this could definitely be somebody who's a sibling, child, ex, in-law, or like an adoptive type of parent. This could be somebody who may have even um, 
went to jail at some point for some sort of addictions that they have, something like that. This could also be somebody who may be facing karma right now for some of the things that they did to you. Because of the fact that you're a healer, you are very protected. <clears throat> this could also be somebody who may be very indecisive about what they should be doing or what's right or what's wrong. This person may have a really hard time understanding um, morals and values. They may not have been taught very many of them as a younger person. You may have actually been sent into their life to show them some of the things that they should be doing. Um, this person may be very jealous of your optimism, the way that you stand out, um, the way that you aren't part of a crowd because you're very different from everyone around you. Maybe you're also somebody who can really fit in with any crowd or talk to anyone because you're very non-judgmental, open-minded. Um, this person could also be somebody who may be very two-faced. This could be a frenemy of yours or something along those lines, um, or an ex-frenemy. Um, this could be somebody who gossiped a lot, who may have told a lot of your secrets. This could also be somebody who may have even tried to get you in trouble with the law in some sort of way as well. And now the truth is going, is being exposed. And this person is having to deal with the repercussions of trying to use the law in that way. Q, Q, S, <clears throat> T, Q, Y, stay stuck, K. This person has chosen to stay stuck and you have chosen to free yourself. So this person is jealous of your ability to trust in your wings and to trust in the guidance you're receiving to follow your life purpose and path while this person is being left behind. This person may be feeling like they're being left behind, forgotten, alone. <clears throat> o, W, G, S, stowaway, Z, hidden, M, H, Q, G, Z, L, C, clown, Chloe, chow, clam, clump, lost, home, this person could have lost a home. Maybe you lost a home, but even it doesn't matter what you have lost in life. It doesn't matter how little you have. You continue to have hope and faith and trust and you continue to move forward. <clears throat> Maybe this person has gone through a lot of the same things that you have been through and they have not handled it in the way that you did. This person could also be very jealous of your intuitive capabilities your intelligence, your charisma, your fair-minded energy, the fact that you do what you feel is right, regardless of what easy path or temptation may be in front of you. <clears throat> Two of Cups, they may be jealous of a new friendship in your life as well. The Hermit, the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, like I was saying before, this person may actually feel like they are very left out in the cold, alone, um, have nothing. And I feel like regardless of whether or not you were in this position once, and you may be right now even, in this position you knew that you were never alone. You learned from this position. You grew from this position. You allowed the lessons that needed to be um, brought into your life to be brought into your life. You also stood your ground, fought your battles, set your boundaries. You didn't feel like you were less than anybody else simply because of appearances or simply because of the physical things or simply because everybody in your life deserted you or because you had no money, whatever the case may be. You still stood up for yourself. You still stood your ground. You still set your boundaries and you still told people to fuck off when needed. You are somebody who is able to be alone and to be fine with it, to be at peace with it. You're somebody who is um, very healing as well, not just for others, but for yourself. You take that time necessary to you to be able to heal yourself, to be able to have those peaceful moments, to have that self-care time. Also, when there's a problem in your life, you look inside of yourself instead of looking 
Instead of looking at the external world, you don't blame everything outside of you. You look inside of yourself for the answers. You don't blame yourself either, but you look inside of you for the answers so that you can heal what's necessary so that you can change what's going on in your life. Really? I don't know why there has to be so many people with such loud vehicles. Huh. Anyway, you're also a very good friend. When it comes to friendship with you, friendship with you is something that people don't find in many places. You're a very peaceful, balanced, and harmonious person. And you are really somebody that people have a lot of fun with as well. They find a lot of peace with you. Yeah, this person's outside watching some of the new connections you're making and is very upset about it. This person is somebody who's very watchful, wary, somebody who may be very paranoid as well, somebody who's very observant, but they are not looking inside themselves for the answers. They're looking at you and blaming it on you instead, blaming their lack of stability on your stability for some reason. Some of the things that people can come up with in their mind about why things are happening can be very inventive to say the least and all of us have been there at some point even if you do this on a regular basis at some point you probably in your life have done it the other way but you learned from it you grew from it and chose to try a different way until you got to the point of no longer excusing any of, any of your behaviors but realizing those things have to do with you and if you work to heal yourself inside then it will show in the outside Trust in the higher forces. You have a very strong, steady faith and belief. You know that everything that you need will be provided to you, regardless of what situation you find yourself in. You're a very honest person, a very humble person, a very grounded, loyal, committed person. You're a very stable person. And this person is somebody who is very unstable. Somebody who is constantly looking outside themselves for answers, constantly looking for somebody to blame, to scapegoat, somebody who cannot handle admitting when they've done something wrong because they can't handle not being perfect. And what kind of miserable life would that be to have to be perfect every second because nobody could ever see anything you got going on because then you're just not a good person or whatever the case may be. Nobody will love you. Nobody will care about you. And you know what? We've all been there before. I took a trip there at one point. I wouldn't know what it's about or how to talk about it. And I wouldn't have learned from it and gained the wisdom from it if it wasn't for taking that trip there myself at one point. Spending enough time with somebody who has to do this and you kind of have to do this to be around them or around the people that they are around, like their family. Yeah. I did not want to live like that though and did not find any happiness in that life. And this person is finding no happiness because of the fact that they're trying to be this perfect person, but they don't realize it's their own fault. They're not finding that happiness and they're looking to you thinking it's your fault in some way and very jealous that you're able to just be yourself and still have people around who care. So that's what I have for this pile. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys had to say about it, whether or not it resonates, what you might be going through. And if you guys did enjoy this video, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a timestamp or a donation. All of those things are so greatly appreciated and great ways to give back energetically for the energetic healing sessions I bring to you guys. I am so grateful to each and every one of you who is here to support me on my path and in my journey as I am here to support you on yours. And I really hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. I love the fact that my daughter recently taught me how to pause the video while I'm recording, not only so that I can keep my phone from overheating, but also so I can save time on bringing the piles down here because sometimes it's hard to move them. <laughs> anyway, pile three for you guys. Let's see who is jealous of you, how they might be behaving, and why they're jealous of you. <clears throat> So, for this pile, I'm feeling like you have chosen a different path than most people choose in life. And you are also very protected in pursuing this path. 
I also feel like you have a very strong level of faith. You know that nobody's magic, nobody's BS, n no amount of drama or chaos or warfare of any kind is going to be able to affect you and tear you off your path. You also know that until it is your time to go, you are going to be here. And you have chosen to make the most of it. You have chosen to live a very different lifestyle, a taboo lifestyle, one that people may not agree with. <clears throat> and this person may actually want that kind of lifestyle, but has been avoiding having that kind of lifestyle because they don't want everybody that they care of, care about and love to walk away because they, f they know that they will. It's not that they feel that they will. They know that they will because they'll be living a different lifestyle at that point. And this person may have chosen not to go with you on this path because of that as well. We have Aries or Capricorn. I'm really not sure right now. I'm going to have to look that up again because usually I know, but I don't right now. Taurus and Taurus again, trustworthy. So this person could be somebody who's very stubborn, headstrong. Um, they could have some sort of addictions as well. They could also be somebody who has caused a lot of drama around them in their own life because they refuse to say sorry for some of them. They could have a lot of pride or a lot of ego. This could actually be somebody that you may have told them, this is the, this is the cycle that you have going on in your life. This is what you're doing and you're doing it to yourself. And so they knew exactly what they were doing and then they decided, well, you know, what happens if I know what I'm doing now and I choose to continue doing it? And you may have actually even told them that if the universe wants you to change something in your life, it's going to continue to throw a bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger tower in your path until you finally decide to make those choices to make the changes necessary in your life. And so this person could have been very stubborn, very headstrong, and they really just didn't want to change. They didn't want to do things differently. They were comfortable with how things were. They may have also been somebody that could have been a little bit materialistic. They could have been focusing on those things. They could have been... Um, wanting to get the finer things in life from other people instead of doing the work themselves for some of them as well. They could be very um, jealous of your trustworthy nature that people may come to you for certain things in life, especially um, people who are dealing with some sort of addiction or some sort of toxicity or who are going through a lot of hardship and they're trying to figure out how to end the cycles. Um, you could definitely be somebody who is very good at ending the cycles in your life. D, K, Donkey Kong, and Diddy Kong. W, J, this could be somebody younger than you as well. This could be an ex, maybe even an ex friends with benefits or an ex best friend. J, T, Z, somebody that maybe you thought you could trust at one point in time. L, Y, P, and then you found out the lies that they had been spouting. P, PP loan. V, A, veterans. Um, something to do with veterans. B, M, Bureau of Land Management. C, M, P, U, punk, pump. Put, catapult, and actually the whole word of punk is here. I was I didn't realize that because I didn't see the N at first. P, Pat, or the K, I mean. Actually, there is no M. N. Oh, there is an N. Here we go. W, N, Pawn, Vamp, D, Dump, P, N, G, Hang. This person may be suffering from a lot of guilt right now for the things that they have done. Um, this person could have been somebody who dumped all of their stuff on other people and who kind of sucked up everyone's energy around them. But I feel like this person is ready for a change in their life right now and they have no clue how to go about it. And they know that you do, so they may be jealous of your gifts, your capabilities, your understandings. Computer, somebody could be upset or jealous if you know a lot more about technology than they do. Um, pave, pad, pam, nap, nag, 
Nat, Nate, Naked, Gate, Jump, 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 Jump Around, Jump Up, Jump Up, and Jump Down, Jump Around. I'm gonna pause this for a second. Loud vehicles, anyway, table. This person could be very jealous of the table that you have made for yourself while they were avoiding changing these cycles and you decided to make the changes necessary in your life. Camp, camping, campy. You could've went camping with this person or uh, bang, tang, lang, value, pup, dab, bad, because I'm the bad guy. Bad guy by Billie Eilish is coming to mind right now. This person may feel like they are the bad guy. They may even have that label, but regardless of whether or not there's a lot of people that are in connections that want to be with you or a lot of people that want to um, cheat on their partner to be with you or whatever the case may be, you're not labeled as the bad guy like that. And I feel like that's also because this person knew what was going on and you didn't. Pay, Tay, Lay, May, Day, Dan, Dang. Some of you may want to check out Tara with Tay. There could actually be a message from her that one of you guys needs to hear as well. Traveler, move in a new direction. She's definitely one of my more favorite ones, although I haven't listened to her in months. Magic Guardian, unlock the magic within. When it comes across my screen and I feel drawn to it, that's when I listen to it, but it hasn't been... They haven't been sending me any messages from her lately. Pay as well. This person may actually be somebody who could have been paid to um, be somebody's like sex monkey. That's the word that came to mind as well, you know, and you're somebody who refuses to do that. You may be very stubborn on that front. Unlock the magic within. You're able to unlock the magic within yourself and you're able to use this magic to propel yourself forward and you spread this magic to the world around you as well. You're somebody who has chosen to move in a new direction instead of repeating the same cycles over and over and over again like we were talking about earlier. Two of Pentacles, the Moon, the Five of Cups, the Mouse, and the Fox. Hidden regrets, hidden depression. Um, this person is so sad, remorseful, guilty, ashamed, just feeling awful about the things that have happened in the past and everything that they have dumped over, all the stuff that they have lost, instead of realizing that if they pulled themselves together and faced this shadow, faced the darkness that's going on, looked around them and forgave the people who have hurt them and forgave themselves for the way that they have hurt others, because we're all no different, accepting the shadow side of themselves and accepting the shadow sides of others instead of placing anybody else on a pedestal or placing yourself on a pedestal, then this person would be able to see in front of them that there is new beginnings that could happen. But they're very afraid, afraid to confront that, afraid to look in the mirror, afraid to dive deep into their emotions because they're afraid of what they'll find there. And they're afraid that if they do that, they won't be able to climb their way back out again. And, um, it's no wonder they feel that way because of the massive amount of depression that they're in right now. But the thing that they don't realize, the funny thing is, is when you actually dive into that, you don't dive into more depression. You actually pull yourself out of it by diving into that darkness and the hidden things going on. They're hiding from themselves. They aren't even realizing why they're feeling the way that they are. They're hiding from the world as well. And they see you facing things head on, very courageous, very brave. Even if you're afraid of things that are going on, instead of being paralyzed by that fear, you let it push you forward. You're also somebody who's very much so life partner material. You're somebody who can handle everything that life throws your way with grace and efficiency. You're somebody who is very dignified and poised. And also this could be somebody who may be um, jealous of the fact that regardless of whether or not you have um, balanced two situations at once, you've created a balance and you've been able to do it successfully. They could also be jealous of how many options you have 
or how many different things that you can do. Your intelligence, your craftiness. This person may have thought that they were crafty in the past, but they were not crafty enough in some sort of way. So they're definitely jealous of the direction that you have taken in life and the fact that you have chosen to unlock the magic that you have inside of yourself. The fact that you have been able to accept both the good and parts of that, good and bad parts of that, and the fact that you've been able to balance everything that comes your way so efficiently and the, your ability to be able to learn and grow and shift and change. The fact that you don't need to stay stuck in a comfort zone to feel safe, but the fact that you can feel safe even when everything is up in the air. So that is what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys had to say about it, whether or not it resonated with you, what you might be going through. Um, and if you guys did enjoy this reading, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a timestamp or donation. All of those things are so greatly appreciated, and I truly am grateful for all of you who are here to support me on my path as I'm here to support you on yours. Those are all great ways to give back energetically, and I really appreciate each of you who take the time to do that. Thank you guys for being here today, and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.